Sarge. Why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three! Bad juju? Where are you dragged up? A swamp? People really don't like me. Oh no, it's raining. I think that's actually the first time we've seen that. Hey lady, get out of the road. Oh no, it's been raining the whole night. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, the fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown off Fremont Avenue. Again, they're not letting us see the... Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Oh. Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. Wait, a lot of imbeciles have confessed? Yeah, Fake confessions? Oh. I want to stop them with Second one time, round. they're not letting us oh, see the murder. Side. I mean, you know you made morning, you got indeed. That desk. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love a fad, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to send there. I just don't know how to dance to That's so... I don't know. When you work as a police, a detective, it's like, well, that's another case. But like, each of these victims, they have their families. Greetings from sunny California. How's it gonna stop? They have families, they have a mom, they have a dad. They've been raised by somebody for what, like 20 years? And they just get killed? It's so... Oh, human life is a fragile thing. <laughs> Okay, this rain, I think, is gonna be pretty bad. I feel like it's gonna be really bad for evidence collection. Doesn't pretty much everything get washed away? Here. First the letter, and now another time. Oh. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests and the lack of good man reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man, Phelps. You can't always hit home runs. Sometimes you just gotta make first base. Yeah, we're not going to answer that this patch today because I didn't want to disrupt him talking. Maybe if we come across it later again, then we'll do it, but yeah. Let's go check out this body first. Oh, it's another dead naked woman, isn't it? <laughs> when is this going to end? I'm glad to see that Cole cares about catching the real killer, though, because we know that he... I think he does care about his own reputation, too, so... Good to know that he's not just prioritizing that. Is this a park? That guy there will lead us up. This guy? I'm stealing myself for what I'm about to see. I'll just be another dead body, partner. Get used to seeing him. You're the gig when you're working homicide, Phelps. Oh, the way they say it like that makes me scared. Because we didn't get to see how the lady died, so what are we gonna see today? Uh. Hey, hurry up, buddy. You're a slow driver. Ah, you drive faster when I drive faster. Okay. A park. Another park. Hmm. Detectives? Phelps and Galloway, homicide. 
Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night and the rain washed most of it away. Oh and no. The body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m. But it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. Mm. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Oh. That's different. Not that I want her to be naked, but um, it makes me wonder when there is a lot of little differences across the killings because the first one and the third one, they both had messages. So I was thinking, does that mean the second one might be a red herring where it's not actually related to the serial killer? Hard to tell. Oh. But this one has the rope again. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. That's a really, really strange thing to focus on. Okay, this lady got strangled. And, um, yeah, the first lady. The one from the first murder. That lady... This one doesn't have a ring. That lady was raped, I think? There was quite a bit of sexual violence in that one, but that was the only lady that had that too, so... It's kind of like a serial killer, but they're not super consistent with the things they do. Maybe in an attempt to throw the police off? I don't know. Size 8. No drag marks. Killer was moving around, surveying the scene. What does no drag marks mean? He was holding her? He was carrying her? Because she was probably dead here. I mean, she was probably already dead by the time she got here, right? So... Well, he wasn't dragging her on the ground. Not a robbery. Not everything here is going to be relevant. That's money! <laughs> That's always relevant. <laughs> Tire marks. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think we have any evidence for that. Is that it? Oh, there's so little evidence this time. Oh, the rain. The rain is really doing us in. Let's check out the game well. Oh, what is that? Is that a playground thing? Whoa. What? What's up? Lady. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Oh, so important that she... she got driven here? Okay, a witness. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Hobo? Well, if she's coming all the way here, she shouldn't be lying to us, right? Feel like we have no reason to say she's lying. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. 
Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. This figured how. There really wasn't that much information to go off of. Oh, we don't even have it here. We don't know anything! Time of death, 2 a.m. Laundry label? This is such a stretch. Boot prints, tire tracks. Oh, and the lady's gone. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of strange. Like, instead of going to the station, she would come directly to me. Phelps, badge 1247. I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services. 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, Detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thank you. And that's pretty much all the evidence we have here. So I guess we go to the laundry? Can you keep things under control until Pinker and Carruthers finish up? Sure, Detective. We'll stay out of their way. Or we go find the hobo camp. Goddamn captain's making me Laundry? That is such a stretch, though. Aww. You know the way. You can drive. Well, Fine. yeah. Where are we headed? Like, the only way maybe it would be related is... No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written on it. This one didn't. We I'm didn't even check. Follow you. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? It almost feels like he wants me to drop it. I forgot what I was saying before he started talking. Oh, the only way the laundry would be related is if she picked it up really recently, right? If she had the if she had the laundry done really recently on the dress she was wearing. We didn't even find the other shoe, did we? No. I'm pretty sure it wasn't at the crime scene though, cause we heard the noise and everything. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case, and one of your laundry labels came up. F-1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register and you can take a look. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. <laughs> All right. At least the rain stopped. You can change back into those white bucks now. You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? What was the number? What was the number? One three six three. T. Ter Terrelson? This is T. Terrelson, 43 Emerald Street, Westlake. All right. Well, uh, thank you for your help. I guess that's that. Nothing else here. You can be traced back. Even though they don't have computers here and whatnot, you can still be traced according to what you were doing in the city. It's kind of scary to think about. So that sort of thing. It's not a Facebook exclusive thing. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Um, we can go check out the hobo camp. How is the guy disfigured? We don't know. I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. <laughs> Come on, Rusty. You're more experienced than me. You should, you know, indulge me a little bit. You're always bothered. Signatures. Oh, they will never leave me alone. My fault. 
And where's my wife? I don't know. My mom cares about the article. But we're looking for a tall man me. with a disfigured face. Do you know him? Huh? What? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. Ah, uh, the bum isn't here. Look at these people. We should follow God, the enemy. These guys no, can wait. No, no. Isn't it crazy how different your lives can be? This guy was in the war, and now he's at a hobo camp. I was in the war, but now I'm, um, I'm a homicide detective. There's so many circumstances that... External circumstances that determine our lives. Okay. I think we're looking a little bit too snazzy to be walking around here without attracting attention. You can't do this! Oh... Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want another accommodation? Slow down! Oh? Junk. Junk? You just zoomed in on it and it's junk? That's weird. Hmm. Huh. Okay, well, I'll trust you on that That's one. Disgusty. Didn't you ever hear of germs? <laughs> You're talking to me about germs? Oh, it's the harmonica guy, isn't it? His music is sticking out like a sore thumb. No? Have a lead. Any ideas? Find out what the husband has to say for himself. Mm. This goes outside the camp. Okay. There was another area we didn't look at yet. Here. I wish I could afford Anybody want to talk? You streak of piss. Yeah. Mmm. Doesn't seem like there's anything too spectacular here. Hey. Are you no. Ah. Nothing here. Maybe we're not supposed to be here at first. Just like the grocery store? I mean, we can have a look around. I feel like that photo was something, but maybe we don't know why it's something yet. So that's why Cole said it was junk. But there's nothing anywhere. Why are they all outside when it's raining? I mean, I feel like some cover would be better than none. There's really not too much here. No? If we see the guy, we'll know it's him because of his face. But, like, we don't see yeah, anybody. Like Not even... Okay, well, let's just leave her now, then. I don't know where... I feel like that photo must be a thing, though. You can't do this. Oh, wait. Is there another area here under the bridge? Sort of. But we kind of know there's no... Yeah, there's no clues here, so maybe this is just... Oh, this area is actually quite big. There's more here. It's much quieter here, though. Hmm. Nobody's on this side of the camp for some reason. Do not enter. Yeah, I don't think there's much here. Oh, Are I thought this looked promising. Are you just crap? Oh, I thought this looked promising for a second, but it's... It's the same old. No? Rusty? I don't even know where Rusty is. No, there's just... Maybe we're not here at the right time. Yeah. Okay, let's just leave her now. Random hobo. Yeah, let's go find the husband first because nobody even reported the murder yet, right? So it's a possibility that the husband doesn't know about it. Is Rusty gonna come back? Because I'm driving. Hmm. 
laundry service billing address. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic types show a particular disposition for this stuff. Nordic types? Oh, I don't know, man. None of the previous people, the previous dead victims, they were probably not killed by the husbands. So this one, even when we interview him, I think I'm going to lean towards thinking that it's not him. Oh, how far away is it? I always have trouble seeing where I am on the map. That's the police station. That's a street crime. If we go near it, then we'll do it. Where am I? <laughs> where am I? Oh, I'm here. It's such a small white dot. What the heck? Okay, we. Uh, there's still a little bit more to drive. Let's gain some ground here. Slow down. Don't honk me. I'm the police. Oh, I don't think I should have entered this. Oh, can we go here? Oh! Oh! Watch it, will you? <gasps> that bush counts as something? Oh, I thought we could just run over it. Dang. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. It's the first time we've seen rain here, and oh, I should have seen it coming, because rain is such a bad thing for evidence collection. And now we've pretty much got nothing. Not that even with the rain we were gonna get anything, but um, I guess this time? You know how last time, the last murder, the killer was taunting us, but this time there wasn't really much evidence of that, so it could be that some of the murders we've seen so far are part of the serial killer, but some of them are not. Because these, these are getting reported in the news, so it's entirely possible that someone would be like, hey, there is a serial killer out there right now, so I'm just gonna pretend to be one of them and get away with my murder. Which could mean that some of the husbands here are the actual murderers, but I feel like it's still kind of unlikely. We got a boat. We got a boat. A kid! Oh! Looks like a match with the ligature marks. It's that rope. Eva? What was the first name again? Of the lady? T. Terrelson? So Eva's just the name of the boat then. Okay. We can't go in through the back. <laughs> okay. Nope. Well, rope on a boat? If you own a boat, you'll have the rope for it. Not the most damning evidence yet, but um... Oh god, they have kids. They have a lot of kids! Oh no! Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Seems like a normal family. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. Maybe not in front I'm of the kids. Your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Tarleton, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's procedure? You see to your girls. Oh, I hate how the kids are here right now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Twins. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. 
What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. This really just seems like a normal family. You want to hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bums think filling out a missing persons report actually rules him out as a suspect. Well, he didn't fill one. Hey, man, just leave him alone until we finish looking around, okay? Yeah, I don't see signs of this guy being a bad husband yet. We need to check if she was a regular. Baron's bar. A bar, again. A bar. Oh. Wedding ring? Bar. Alcohol. I doubt it. Those are the... I feel like those have been the commonalities so far. I don't think so. Double dipped Templeton. The kids room. Bunk beds. Bible? Oh, no. Incidental. Hmm. God. We're telling him the bad news, and now he's being held like a prisoner in his own house. The boat outside. Same thing. Baron's bar. Baron's bar again. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. Look, if we go there later, and they talk to me about a temp worker, then we know who the killer is, okay? I'm telling you. If you'd excuse me, ladies. Oh. Oh! I can't... I can't move. I'm stuck here! You've got a mean face. Sorry. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. Food for the needy. Oh, wow. I guess they might do some volunteering, or maybe they're the needy ones. Collection drive starts this Sunday. Saturday. So she went out without her handbag? That's really weird. At least she was spared that particular indignity. Oh, is that why? I thought the murderer brought his own lipstick. But maybe not. Wait, did you have more to look at it? Or... Like a brand? No? She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Teresa. She wasn't the one driving, was she? I forgot. She said, uh, the husband said she was going to a party? Lars was out in the rain last night. Oh, come on, that is really not evidence. Being outside is not a crime. Is that it? No, we still have music. Wait. Oh, oh. We can see if Pinker can match the impression to the crime scene. Eight. How is the killer doing this though? Is he like, I'm only gonna kill the wives of husbands who have size eight shoes. How's he calculating this? Phone. Where is the phone? Here. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a proud oh. car dispatched. Thanks, ma'am. I thought the wife was the one going to the bar. Or uh, not the bar, the party. Because she was dolled up, wasn't she? Can we close the door? It's raining and dreary outside. I don't hear music anymore, but just in case... 
Oh, what? What? There was something here? But there was no music. Okay, that's... I thought we looked at that. Yeah, we looked at that already. But the sound... Oh! There's multiple items here? The photo! I wonder why the picture was turned down. Marriage problems? I don't know. Oh, so I gotta be careful. Even though the music stopped, they didn't think I would be dumb enough to overlook the photo, but I was, so joke's on them. Now we should be good. For the record, Mr. Tarleton, what is your wife's name? Teresa. I wonder if it's a good thing for me to be coming into this, thinking that he's not the killer. It might cloud my judgment. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. But Rusty said before that... The victims are usually killed by people around them, huh? Whoa! 17.4? Okay, looking at this, I would normally just say that it's... the truth. Because he looks really sad about his wife dying. But what's the 17.4? <laughs> That's scary. Let's try to ask. Oh! What? What? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Can we use another intuition point? No, we can't. What's with these percentages? What the heck? Um... Well, if we say lie, we can back out of it, so I think we should try that first. Oh my god. This one's really... really hard, huh? Okay, no. Let's think about why people are getting it wrong. So I'm looking at this guy, and I think it's truth. Should I be thinking that everybody else thinks it's truth? Is that why everyone has been getting it wrong? Because it's not truth? <laughs> I don't know! I think you're lying, Lars. I think you were mad at your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then dumped her body on the hill. You think I strangled my wife? How do you expect to prove that? Oh! Oh, the rope! Oh, whoa, this one's really hard, because... I would not have thought of the rope until Cole brought it up. Wow. I think it's the rope? Your wife was strangled with triple braid rope. The bowline from your boat is a perfect match. Look, I know this looks bad. But I'm gonna have to come to terms with the fact that I let her go. Whoa, that one was a really tricky one. No wonder no one got it right. What the heck? We gotta be really careful here, holy crap. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Oh, they both went, okay. Mm, I think that's a doubt, but we'll check with the... Okay, 99.5. Doubt? Doubt? Okay. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night, she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. The bar? The bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Alcohol. Alcohol and wives. Is the killer punishing bad wives? Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. <laughs> I think it's the photo. Do we have that here? 
Oh, wait, what? We don't have the... Um, oh, that's not evidence. The turn down photo? So I guess we just doubt this one then, because we don't have a thing for it? Spill it, Teraldson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30. Maybe a little earlier. She was killed at 2 a.m. approximately. 8.30. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. So you have the car. And she just went wherever? <laughs> okay, I think this one's true. 86.6? That scares me a little bit. Truth? Truth? <laughs> scary. This is scary. Why did you only report no! your wife missing this morning? I thought she would have called up last night from the bar. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Terrelson. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, if you give in to Braj, You'll be giving in to them your entire life. Sounds like the Terrelson Broad had her last drink at Baron's Bar. We should check the place out. God damn it, man. You ruined my streak. This guy is so sneaky. What was the last question we asked him? I don't even remember anymore. Oh, man. Okay, well, I guess, I guess that's that. I'll be back for you. You're a sneaky one. Appreciate your time, sir. Now he has to worry about his two girls. Yeah, whatever. He's probably not the killer anyway. We don't have to care so much about what he says. I'll drive. I'm glad that even though it's raining, the driving isn't you any more difficult. This guy's story kind of rings true. Car 11 K, car Again? 11 King, come in. 11 King, go ahead. Oh. We have a possible sighting of a tall disfigured vagrant at the Hobo Camp on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Use caution, the suspect is wanted connection with two assaults on females. That's a couple of blocks from the murder scene. Alright! You lead the way, my man! You can drive. We can go to the bar whenever we want. But the hobo might not always be there. Oh, wait, but you're gonna drive to the bar. Oh, well. Okay, that's okay too. That's okay. We'll go find the hobo later. Bar, again. Gents, drink? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Now, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Some commonalities here. They ring the husband, but the husband's never there. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. That's still a lot of time before 2 a.m. Okay. On foot, in a car, by bus, how was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. That's one heck of a Sunday. Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. Wow. Oh, 3591. Okay, thank you. Usually people wouldn't bother writing all that down, so it's awesome that you did. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here. But nothing to fit that description. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have a thing. 
out? The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over her. Promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor oh. in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. I'll bring you coffee. Hey, sailor, the rope. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. Not home? Really? Kind of looks like a doubt. Hold on. 99.1. Uh, no, he's... I guess it's the truth. The husband said she wanted to go dancing. And she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank you for your help, Mr. Clough. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. That guy. This is Bates. That's him. LAPD. Don't make me chase what? you, shitbird. We just want to talk. Get away. We just wanted to talk. Why are you running away again? Bates, we just want to talk. <laughs> there he is, Come on. officer. We got a ride. Get in and drive. Oh, thanks. Thanks, buddy. I thought you were going to leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's <laughs> cornered. We could have a killer on our hands. Whoa, whoa, shoot. Holy crap. Where is this guy? I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. Oh, we are driving Come through on, some... Folks, you're letting this lust get away from you. Can you shoot him? Please? Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Holy, this guy's like... Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Dangerous driver. Shoot him! I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Good. All right, all right, you got me. I've had enough. Hands behind your head. Did it really have to come to this stage? Okay, Bates. You're gonna answer some questions. I have a choice in this. No. You did before you made us chase you. <laughs> Last night. You went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead. And your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. Oh. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? His face is messed up? I didn't even notice. Wait, you don't mean he's the hobo, right? Do you mean like he has a black eye? Oh, okay. Wait. Last night you were drinking with a lady. Now she's dead. I'm in the clear. She preferred a sailor. Mmm, the rope. Are we finished? No, because you are acting a little too suspicious. Do you want my partner to sap you? Tell <laughs> us what we want to know. She was okay. Drunk. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. Mm, yeah, so he has a black eye. I thought he meant he was disfigured, like the hobo. He doesn't look like a hobo. 99.6. This guy's making a lot of body movements. No. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? Ah. I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Wow. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. <laughs> Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. 
find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. Not the guy we're looking for. We gotta find the sailor. Where's the sailor? And where's the phone for that matter? Right here. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Thanks. I guess now we go back to the hobo camp. Yeah. All right, you're driving, because I... Oh! Can you drive to this one? That was a rough chase. Fine. Where are we headed? I guy was knocking into everything. Hopefully we'll just find him and we won't have to look around too much. We're looking for a tall, disfigured man at the camp. Could be difficult. Most bums look deformed to me. Come on, Rusty. This isn't gothic fiction. Hobos are just like you or me. They're just men who've fallen on hard times. You ain't much of a detective, Phelps, if you think a hobo's like me. Clue number one, how do I smell? Like shit? Of alcohol and stale sweat. You know, I may be onto something here. Very funny, Phelps. Huh. We have the sailor, though, and I don't think the sailor is the hobo, so this might be a dead end, too. But we gotta exhaust it. You're bringing a gigantic rifle here? We're in their territory, you know that, right? LAPD! We'd like a word with you! Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists! Come to move us on and steal what little we have left! What? Six rounds won't get us far. We need you to stay copacetic. We need to hold out for the cavalry. How do we do that? Like this. Wow, wow you are. Down, if you want your right to uh, share, we need to fight for it. What, do you I don't know have. Harboring a murderer. Why are we? Oh no! Why did we provoke these people? We killed those hobos for no reason. This is not good. Uh, I hope you don't need help with this help. No, you don't need to help me. I'm done. What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. I think he has a burn on the side of his face. It's not really clear what his disfigurement is. And now we look at the photo. The Kremlin's over here, Phelps. Thought it. See what you find. Yup. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. What? Really? Oh, what about the purse? Wait, this was here before? I don't remember seeing it. What does that say? Ackerman doesn't look like much of a dancer. Oh! Crystal Ballroom. Where the... Mars dance? <laughs> I'm not reading it right, am I? Okay, well, now we gotta find a phone. And there is newspaper here. Missing morphine. Cops say goons fighting dope war. LAPD powerless to stop escalating violence. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Benson, this is Courtney Sheldon. It's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help, Jack. I told you I would have nothing to do with that. Is that Kelso? Jack Kelso? I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. 
I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors, but they've been moving it on to addicts and they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying and that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. For God's sake, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. Wait, is Kelso also a detective? Slow down. Oh, then maybe we'll see him later on too, huh? And that wasn't the flashback, I don't think. That was happening in real time? Hmm. Might be part of a bigger narrative going on here. We still got more. I kind of feel bad that we just killed some hobo- Oh my god. Well, this could very easily be planted here, though. Looks familiar. Safe bet it'll match the mark under Teresa Terrelson's chin. Ugh. Well, this house is not locked. So, somebody could just walk in here and put it here? Although, that would not be applying Occam's razor, now would it? That's I think that's it. Didn't you ever hear of germs? What's disgusting? What did I do? Do we go to the... Oh, my car's over here. Do we now go find a telephone so that we can find the location of the ballroom, maybe? Oh, where am I? Whoa, where am I? Not supposed to be here. Let's get back up over here. No. Nope. I've lost my way a little bit. Here. But my car is not here. Anyone have a car we can borrow? Oh, there's a game well, but there's no... We can't use it. Hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Hey! Kidding me? Hey. 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 <laughs> well, I gotta walk back to my own car anyway. Hey. 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 You drive. I need to go over the case notes. <laughs> and where exactly are we going? Are we not finding the ballroom? I'm sorry, sir. Police officer, I need your car. <laughs> you can't do this! Yes, I can, apparently. We're going this way. Maybe we're going to the ballroom later on. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. Here? Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Oh. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? We were both in the war. Yeah, like Cole said, it's just someone who's fallen on hard times. It's not like he's a bad person. Unless, if he's the murderer. Why did you kill Mrs. Terrelson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. <laughs> Is she just outright saying that you killed her? Uh, this is probably the bloody rope, right? Yeah. 
Are you denying that you strangled Mrs. Terrelson with a length of rope? I'm not denying anything. You have to have proof, lackey. Oh, I do have proof. No we found a matching piece of rope in your lean-to. I think we'll find the blood will match, too. I own no property. How could it belong to me? It was in your little hut. A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. Oh, I forgot about that part. Oh, yeah, that's right. The whole thing with Hobo. He was with her at 2 a.m. Oh, that makes it really suspicious. What did you say? We can't say anything for this one, can we? Doubt? I think all we can do is doubt for this one. There's no information here. 99.5? Okay. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed. But I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. What the hell? Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. Really? What? That's it? I thought we weren't even... I didn't feel like we were close to solving a the case at all. A man luck I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor threes of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. What? Okay, this one felt like it happened really, really fast and it just flew by. And we missed a clue, goddamn. It felt like there were so many links we didn't really go through yet. The whole thing with the sailor and uh, the party. The party that the couple went to on the night of the murder and... I have no idea what happened and then the freaking... The hobo was just like, I killed people, and that's... that's it. Every witness counts, even the cabbie who was among the last to see Teresa Terrelson alive. Yeah, we never got a chance to investigate that, did we? But it's not like I missed anything, because we've been to all the places already. <laughs> well, this one's kind of weird. Huh.